Hello Wolf then. my name is Fortunel and welcome back to Lightfall. We got all the Paddle Wood pages from this area and we also learned a bit about uh, Strix, his companion or pupil. And things did not end well, definitely not, so it's understandable how he hopes the same doesn't happen to us. Either way, it is time to move on, find our way through this fortress. And into the fortress itself, like through the forest into the fortress. And the question is, are there any council members I may remaining? I never forgive myself for what happened to Ravoria. Ah, but no one thing, boy. I will not let you down. Well, I would argue that you also never actually let Ravoria down. She went on her own way, her own path, to take down the Black Swarm, I wouldn't say you failed her. At least that's what I would say. Um, yeah, we are destroying a lot of these crystals here. I'm not sure in what way that is correct, because... Yeah, we can save ourselves. Or we can kill ourselves by activating the wrong stuff. That's all I'm saying. Which leaves the question... In how much trouble am I going to be? And of course I hit the edge of the plant. Bloody hell. Uh, yeah. Luck can work two ways. Either it can help you or it can become the death of you. That works. Okay, we need to move you a li li little bit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, up we go. Come on. Safety. Thank you. Now, there are... Could be something down there that might be for the speed running portion. If you're fast enough. Yeah, this is a little bit more difficult than it looks. As is with everything in this game. It may look terribly easy and you may have a very easy time with it. And I would argue that that should not have killed me. <sighs> we'll get through this though. We'll take an attempt of three or four. Or something along those lines. But we'll be okay. Just need to play it careful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we... Uh, I'm so dead. Oh. Oh, there was... There was a platform there. I didn't see the platform. The mushrooms distracted me on the platform. Which indicates a trap. Let's say that. So it's still not safe. But it's safer... Than this. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I will do this. I will do this. Just takes an attempt or three too many. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, perfect. And... Trap. Which means we are just gonna... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> Not liking that. Okay, how am I gonna get through this? I could go the lower routes, which seems like the best choice. Because that up there is a dead end, too. Oh, bloody hell. So many glowing finds. So deadly. Okay. Hey. Oh, my God. No. Made it. Total skill. Total skill. No luck. No luck whatsoever. Oh, is that the grave of Ravoria? I... I can't believe this. Ravoria. They built a shrine in your honor. I can finally be at peace now that her legacy is saved. Yeah. It truly is a sad story of what happened to her. Definitely. After so many years, I felt as if a huge weight had been taken off my shoulders, knowing that my Owl Brothers, in the end, had understood that Ravoria had made all those sacrifices to protect Numbra, put my mind at rest. The mistakes of my past would no longer plague me. Thankfully, the boy and I were unharmed by Ravoria's forgotten traps. The road to Sylvian was still long and treacherous, but at long last, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. 
Now the question, is that light going to be positive or not? Because, yeah, we are still dealing with the entire matter of where the hell do these crystals come from? Raining out of the sky from meteors, it seems, but... The Viperous Forest. Home of the wild, the untamed, and the Kamloops. Your people never cease to surprise me. Yeah, we take the worst possible position we could be in and make our home there. Okay, so two journal pages. Anything up here? Possibly. I sense. Eternium crystals? This close to Sylveon? This is a bad omen. Yeah. Uh, I see something up here. Are you a secret? Just a quick passageway through. Go away, you bloody bird. Don't want to mess with you. I will mess with you. Um, yeah, this is going to be difficult. Uh, that I have a feeling that not breaking everything is a good thing. Like, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I hate these birds. Okay, let's take this checkpoint. Um, anything down here? Doesn't look like it. And something tells me that something is hidden behind here. But that's not the case. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, let's continue in that case. I am going to miss those journals. Most definitely. I will do my best to... Try and find them. If I know where to look, at least. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. No, no, no. Birds, go away. Perfect. Okay, this looks promising. Or... Yeah, just... Just speedrun material. Oh, and I'm happy to know that my block can destroy them. Kill them. Oh, okay, I just... That was foolish of me. Let's say that. Okay, um, let's see. How am I... I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, perfect. I see you. Hi. How are you doing? Great. So, all that did was not much, and... Interesting statue! <laughs> Definitely an interesting statue. On a brighter note, Luxana might be in the capital, protecting the Kamloops as we speak. Yeah, Strix, don't begin to think too many wishful things, because there's a large chance that might not be what is happening. Definitely. And also, I have no clue where I would be able to find the rest of the journal pages. I see more creatures ready to destroy me once I get the chance. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna play it safe by staying at the top, getting the checkpoint, and then we can look down where there is a hole. With a secret. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I wouldn't be able to get it from here. No, of course not. Okay, so there are multiple crystals. Why are there multiple crystals? Don't tell me this place is gonna... This is just a maze, right? Just a maze, nothing else? It looks like a maze. Because I'm afraid it's gonna just collapse on top of me. That would be a thing. A thing I'm expecting to happen once you break too many of those crystals. Like they're bearing pillars or something. Okay, uh, now the question. We got this. How the hell are we gonna get it back? Like that. That was easier than I thought it would be. December 25th, 1590. Isan came to me in the evening, bearing bad news. Apparently, Ashen and his most loyal supporters had decided to leave the Order's fortress on a whim, without telling anyone. As they said, a tiger couldn't change its stripes. It all began this morning, as I was summoned to the Night Owls Council to explain our presence in Numbra. Even before the audience, I could see that Ashen was very nervous about the whole thing. 
How can you keep that smile on your face, Paddlewood? The future of our nations depends on this very meeting. Do you even take this seriously? He asked as he fervently paced the hall. There was no point in arguing or explaining myself with the man once he had made his mind. The assimilation war changed him. It turned him into a cold and ruthless man. That much I could see. He would never trust the night owls. In fact, I'm not even sure he even trusted me, his own captain. The doors finally opened and I went inside. Let's just say that the meeting didn't go exactly as planned. Gripax looked like a kind and gentle soul compared to his superiors. I was questioned relentlessly by the council members, even mocked at times. They didn't seem happy about potential unwanted newcomers in Numbra. They already had enough problems on their hands with the Black Swarm, Slash the, and the King of the Forest and many other troublemakers across the land. Gripax and Stripax tried to vouch for us, but were quickly reputed by the council. At that moment, Ashen furiously left the room, slamming the huge metal doors behind him. That scene certainly didn't help our case. I could see them whispering and sneering behind them. The council said that they would announce their decision in a few days, but I knew our fate was sealed. I went back to my chamber and it was then that Isan brought to me the news of Ashen's departure. As much as it pained me to say this, we had to find him and his group before they got us into even more trouble with the Order. I would need to have a serious talk about this insubordination. I was the captain of the expedition and he needed to remember it. Yeah... I can see where he's coming from, but also, yeah, it's not really the best thing to do to help your case, definitely not. Okay, how is this gonna kill me? By just dropping a brick. Got it. Is it gonna help me out? In some way? Or is this just gonna lead to a villager? Or a shortcut? Just a shortcut. I can take the shortcut. I can't take the shortcut. <laughs> it just leads to the same area. I'm gonna go down here, see what's up down. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, does this? Does this count as standing? Yes, it does. Standing on top of those crystals counts as resetting stuff. That is cool. Now, I'm not sure what is up here in regards to secrets. I see you. Haha. <laughs> I... Uh... What the hell is that? Hello? Are you dangerous? What? Okay, what the actual hell was up with that? Oh, uh, no. Okay, here we go. Perfect. This is a bit interesting. At least got these. But that also makes me wonder, what is to the left of here? Villager. Aha! Okay, we got that one too. That is good. Which means I need to find... My way back. Which, this is the best way to do. Without dying, I hope. Perfect, here we go. December 26th. After secret secretly sneaking out of the Order's headquarters, we found ourselves back down in the eerie forest. We knew we were being watched by dozens of creatures hidden in the wild. We just wished they wouldn't pounce on us at any moment. Suddenly, out of nowhere, I was pulled from behind. Paddlewood, you idiot! Why did you follow us here? It's dangerous, Ashen said angrily. You're the one who ran away. That's not very nice of you, Commander. That's one way of saying it. A loud rubbing sound interrupted us. It seemed like something huge was dragging itself against the forest's grass and trees. My immediate thought was that the Black Swarm might be coming, but it was a snake. Ah, you lost, little lambs. A nice meal for your king, maybe. Mmm, delicious. A giant snake that 
couldn't be anyone else than Slash, the king of the forest, emerged from the shadows and slowly surrounded our party with his endless tail. I have never seen a creature that was that big. He was twice the size of Animus. His skin was thick and battle scarred, the mark of a deadly predator that had bested countless foes in its lifetime. I looked around only to realize that everyone was frozen in fear. Even Ashen couldn't hide his stubber. Curious beings, I've never seen your kind before. Hmm, the king should know all of his subjects, Slash continued. The snake inks himself closer, his cold eyes gazing at me. I have tasted every creature that inhabits my domain. I wonder what you taste like. I had to think of a way to get us out of there. Suddenly, I remembered what Gripax had told me about Slash. He was as self-conceited as he was powerful. That's why he had proclaimed himself king and named the forest in his honor. Your domain, you say? I didn't know it was yours. Who are you? I asked. The snake was stunned for a brief moment. He couldn't comprehend what he had just heard. <laughs> Pathetic mongrels. How dare you offend your king like this, he hissed. His son looked at me, incredulous. What are you doing? He whis she whispered. You will get us all killed. I had no time to explain. I had to keep going and bet on his vanity to buy us some time. I didn't mean to offend you, but I've never heard of a king in the Kamloops forest before, I continued. The snake was fuming. Not only did I pretend to not know who he was, but I also misnamed his kingdom. You worm! So insulting! So disrespectful! Before I devour you lot, I will make sure to educate you on the grandeur of Slash, the king of Hyperas forest. My plan had succeeded. Slash then began a lengthy monologue about his countless prowess. As he rambled on and on, my crew slowly realized what was going on. The snake became so distracted by his own story, reenacting glorious moments of his past, that he started to forget about us completely. I looked around and discreetly gestured the crew to follow me. We silently escaped as he was busy talking about his preferred creatures to have for dinner. And then we started to run. We arrived back at the Order's elevator, panting, as we suddenly heard a shrieking cry across the forest. Slash had finally realized what had just happened. <laughs> Besting the snake. I like that. And I have a... I fear and I have a feeling that we will encounter Slash ourselves and I'm not sure what that is going to mean for us. But we will find that out soon enough I guess. Either way, it's time for us to continue, see how far we can get and not get into too much trouble. Now there is something up here and I'm not entirely sure what the entire ordeal was with the strange little man. Like I had no idea who it was. I can't reach that high. I cannot reach that high. Okay, let's go down here. Because I wouldn't know how to get up there. Strix, anything news? Um, wait, is that? That is one of Shen's cleavers or uh, blades. These are Shin's twin blades. How did they even get here? Oh boy, not again. Um, whoa. Wait, are we going to learn how to use those twin blades? Um. What? What? Oh, are they... Okay, once I don't touch them anymore, the path breaks. But up until that point... Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> so there is a limit. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, dear. How am I... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. If I can. No. No. 
Okay, so th it is time-based. It is time-based. It is definitely time-based. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, come on. And... Oh... Maybe if I... Oh, okay. Oh, well, no. Oh, genius. Definitely genius. But I do know something now. The Shadow Core, in general, is capable of opening up these bricks. So that means... I'm safe here. I'm safe here. Oh, no. Yeah. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, but I know what to do. I can use my Shadow Core to stand on. And also normally to get past here. Okay. It's gonna disappear. It's gonna disappear. Which means I have a little bit of a safety net over here. Good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Aha. Got it. Okay, that is an interesting Can skill. Can we resume our journey now? In case you forgot, we have a job to finish. Yes, Trix, we can continue our journey, but I fear it's not gonna be right now. It's gonna have to wait till the next episode, but that is gonna be a very useful skill. That is gonna take some practice to use properly. But anyway, that is gonna be all for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Have a very nice day, and remember, have fun. I'm glad that Strix managed to find peace in his heart regarding Revoria, for it certainly was a heavy burden to carry. We are going to need his wisdom and companionship if we want to defeat the Eternium forces and make it out alive ourselves.